All right, guys, you want to learn how to install these doors? Well, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you guys that right now. First, you're going to want to check your layout. Make sure that your door opening is good. So um, so 40 inches, 40 and a quarter is usually what I end up doing if I don't have a door frame size is 40 and a quarter. Uh, but check, make sure you don't need to do any uh, adjustments to the bottom track or top track, whatever. Check the uh, elevation of the header as well. Uh, measure from the bottom of the, the uh, frame to the top there and make sure your header height is good. Um, at, when I do my header frames as well, when I do my headers, when I'm framing, I always check the elevations to see if it's a level floor as well. Uh, sometimes you might have to shim the doors. Uh, I always start working with the hinge side. I slip the hinge side in and cause when I'm framing, I perfectly laser in the hinge side stud. And that's important at that stage because you can see why I, I always start with the hinge side, um, and, um, work my way over. So um, here again, you can see I'm putting the hinge side in first. And then when I'm also too, when I'm framing, I don't screw in the bottom of the, uh, the, like the door stud. That's not the hinge side, the other, the non hinge side. Okay. We'll call it the, the handle side. Um, I do not screw that in when I'm framing so that I can move it when I'm getting the door in and there's not going to be a bunch of holes when I uh, want to screw it back in. Right. Uh, that is a good little hack to know, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah, popping the door in shouldn't be too much of an issue. When you're framing, uh, I'll link a video here on how to do proper door headers. You can uh, go and check that out. Um, but yeah, you can see here too. Okay, I, I, these doors are I built these frames as well. So I'm just hammering back down the tabs. They got a little uh, out of whack when I was putting it in, but no big deal. Uh, just pop them back down and your door is, uh, is, is in it's just time to uh, put your spacers in and, um, you know, get it, uh, get it screwed in. Most doors will come with, uh, clips. Okay. I had to make custom clips for these ones. If you want to learn how to make these custom clips, uh, I will be linking a video at the end of this video to that one, right? And you can also find a link down in the video description or in the comments, I'll link it as well, uh, to this video series on how to uh, make custom clips and make the build the door frame. And then of course the video you're watching, how to install it, right? So door clips are easy. If you don't have them, just clip them in, you'll figure it out. Uh, if you can't figure out the door clip part, then uh, that's, that's just pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I always cut the, uh, the fold over tabs out and I always screw in through the stud. You'll see just like this is how I always screw in all my clips. I, the, the clips that have the tabs, I cut them off. Anyways, so use spacers, use, use um, uh, drywall spacers for the size of drywall on that wall. Okay, if it's half inch, if it's double uh, five eighths or single five eighths, whatever, use the right uh, drywall thickness of spacers. Put one in the bottom and one in the top. That way you know your, your drywall is gonna fit, right? This is why it's so important when you're framing to have uh, your walls level and plumb up your hinge side, right? Because I'm, up, I'm starting on the hinge side again. You want that plumb perfect, okay? Because then all you have to do is use your tape measure to square over at the end of the day, right? You're, you're only going to square the bottom over. That's funny too. You're going to see here in a second why we screw things in a certain way as well. But um, yeah, I'm just going to start at the bottom. I'm going to pop a screw in the bottom. I'm going to pop a screw in the top. Uh, I don't know if I do it here or not, but um, I, I'll put one in the bottom, one in the top so that I know the door is secure and it's snugged up to the drywall. I'm going to test the other side as well, right? I'm going to make sure that drywall does fit in in the other side. I don't show that here in this video, but I will be, I always check to make sure that it'll fit on the other side as well. I'll go around the frame and, and make sure we don't have any issues. With that, but yeah, you can see here I had this. I unscrewed, ended up screwing, uh, taking this piece of drywall off. Uh, but 
because I didn't have it the stud screwed in properly, I had to I have to wait for here for a minute and I'll get a long a long uh, bit and I'll be able to screw that in. Uh, but yeah, I put four screws in each one of these clips, but for yours, you you'll two would be sufficient, right? If you're using the standard metal clips, then two will be uh, sufficient. But you can see this is why we do things the way we do, right? Um, I don't install the floater stud. And if the door, uh, if the if the framing is specified two door studs, I don't put the second door stud in or the floater stud in this corner here until after I get the door in. That way I can reach, I can have access to the clips the way that I want them is screwing them this way, right? And this is the best way for many reasons, okay? It's more secure, it's accurate, more accurate. There's less messing around for the drywall when they're, if you're trying to put uh, drywall in where those tabs and they're not per perfectly bent over, you know, then they're going to give you issues. They always give you issues anyway. But there's going to be a, a, the, the width of the tab and, a, and the wafer head thickness, you know what I mean, added so that it'll be harder for the drywall. This way, the drywall is always going in nice and easy, right? But look at that beautiful gravy train. So, but yeah, because I'm using, I made custom clips on this door frame, I'm just using four screws because, and then this door ended up so strong in the end. Oh my God. But yeah, here, check your uh, elevation, your header height. Okay. And you want to make sure that you don't have to jam up uh, or shimmy up either side, either side. Okay. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where you'll see, this is the right way to screw your corner studs in, but you'll learn that when on the, uh, the, the next series I'm doing on framing here. I'm going to show you how I framed all these walls, drywall, everything. I'm going to be going through the corners in quite detail, how to show you how to read from layout to taping. So watch out for that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel for those videos. They're coming soon. But yeah, I just simply moved the, the corner stud out of the way. And that's why you put the screw in the front, not on the other side of the track. On the inside, you know, you put it in the front of the stud so that you can easily take it out. Uh, to move it to screw in the door clips, <laughs> right? Or hammer drill. A lot of times you'll be hammer drilling and pin bolting down these um, these sides, right? So if your door has to be hammer drilled down, that's simple too. Just use the spacers like I showed you here. All, the only difference is you're going to be hammer drilling uh, down and putting pin bolts in at the bottom, right? But this is still the same way, right? Uh, so yeah, then we're going to square over the bottom. Uh, make sure it's the same measurement at the top. And, uh, yeah, your studs, your framing, uh, should be there should be. That's why I always do leave my, my track a little bit shorter than the actual door opening itself so that I can push it out to meet the door and it, and the track isn't going to be in the way if I have to move the door out. Right. So it always works out just to leave the, your track a little bit short there when you're framing. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to make sure it's square. I'm clamping the, the stud. I'm going to screw it in. I'm going to square it across. And I'm um, going to do the same thing with the spacers are, are already in. I'm going to screw the clips in, starting with a screw in the bottom and the top and then blah, 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 right? Four screws every, um, every clip. But the, the, the main thing is here is to make sure that this stud uh, here is uh, squared over from the hinge side. But it is also squared on, in itself. Okay, square to the back side of the door. You want to make sure that the front and the back of the door is square. And yeah, clamps. I just I clamp everything when I'm doing doors and stuff like that. You'll see too throughout the this door series, I'm always constantly pulling out my tape measure, just checking, making sure everything's good before I if I sense anything's off, I'll pull out the tape and I'll check it. I don't want to be, uh, you don't want to make any mistakes with the doors because it's a, you know, it's a pain in the butt. The, the final stage to the door installation is the drywall installation because that's when you final do your final level and all that. So you want to make sure that it's mint here, but the drywall also you have to double check because it, once you drywall, it pushes things out of, out of whack, right? And then it's also too why you don't screw in anything in, uh, until you got the hinge side secure uh, in drywall as well, right? You can, uh, yeah, you see here, I'm just screwing it in, making sure that the door frame is snug up to the drywall spacers there uh, that we put in, right? Um, the wall should be perfectly level. So you know the door is going to be level. Uh, I know this perfect level. I framed the walls, but you might want to check that just to make sure 
uh, if there's no, there's not gonna be any issues. If the wall is too far out of level, the door won't open, right? So check that quick if uh, if you didn't frame the wall. And yeah, plumb up the hinge side and square across. That's simple, 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 right? Plumb up the hinge side, square across. Um, the spacers will make sure the drywall fits. You know, uh, screw them in on one side. Check check on the other side. Make sure the spa the drywall will go in, and uh, you don't have to make any adjustments. Uh, make sure that the drywall will go in. That's very important with these doors because they won't be fire rated, and they won't pass if the drywall doesn't go inside the door, right inside the frames. Yeah, here you go. You see how uh, the clips are all screwed in, right? I got four screws in every one, so I got three clips on either side. Um, hinge side is is going to be uh, double checked when we do the drywall, uh, but yeah, that's basically it. There, that's that's the first door in installed right there. I'm going to show you the second door here, and same thing, right? We're just measuring over, squaring over the bottom. Uh, the the one side. I had a square line drawn on the floor, but on this side here, I use my framing square to square the uh, the door f stud, like the uh, uh, back, right? The other stud, stud, not the hinge hinge stud, but the door stud, the door stud. I call right? I call the hinge stud and a door stud. That's what I call them. I don't know if that's right or not, but uh, that's how you know. That's how I know which side I'm working on, but. Uh, yeah, man, always like always plumb up the hinge side and square over the bottoms. That's the, you know, this is the main thing. A lot of doors will come with spacers in the bottom, and then you got to also, you know, well, grind them off and cut them properly so they don't, you don't want to hammer them off and make it all mangled, right? You got to cut them nice. But yeah, I'm always checking, man, always checking my with my tape. It's better to just double check, triple check, you know, and you clamp, and yeah, it's good to go, right? The framing should be mint. Uh, and it is right, so I, I don't have any issues with that. I don't, I don't have to worry about that. But uh, if you didn't frame the walls, you might want to, you know, just do a little recon. You know, check it, make sure the the hinge stud for sure is plumb. You know, I know almost ninety nine point nine percent of the time that I didn't frame the wall, I have to adjust something. Okay, most times it's actually make the plumbing the hinge side uh, stud as well, right? So make sure that's the main thing right now. And, um, and of course, your header elevation is correct so that you can uh, get the door frame in even, right? And, and the, door, the door frame header should be like, you know, half an inch, an inch above the header. It, you know, it shouldn't be at exact header height. It should be above the header. You want to be able to get screws in that baby, you know? That's an important part of the uh, structure of the door is, the, is that header that track you need to screw into that to secure the the header studs and the door frames and you want to make sure you screw all the way up the stud when you're drywalling on a uh, a door right because yeah it's it it's still this is only kind of like a half the battle the drywall is how it finishes but now that the door's in i can put the floater studs in i can um put the door stud other door stud in but yeah watch these other two videos here um i'm gonna the one here on the left i'll be showing you guys how to build the custom clips and the one on the right i'll be showing you how to build the actual frame so get subscribed there's lots more content coming you don't want to miss out this is chris